so I'm not even fully ready for the morning. Very excited though. Uh, we spoke about this on the Turf and Tools podcast this week with Karthik. Unbelievably, a few days later it's here. This is a remote control lawnmower, which sounds weird. It's not like a robot mower where you just set it up, leave it, it does its thing. It's just like a normal mower, but it has a remote control. So anyway, I'm gonna get it out of the box. I'm very excited to try it. This is the first one in Australia. Now they're not actually released yet. Um, always cool when you get to try something pre-release. Wow, okay. We've got a little bit of assembly to do. Comes with a hat, not exactly. I mean, it's almost on Tim's Lawn Mower Man brand, but uh, not quite. Oh, I do like this though, a little fan. All right, so I'm gonna get it out of, I'm gonna get it all out of the box and then get the battery on charge. It has quite a large battery, so I wanna get that charged now because I am super keen to play with this thing. I don't know how this thing will go as a lawnmower. I have no idea. Um, I'm just super keen to drive a lawnmower around with a remote control. That just sounds wild to me. Wow, that is a battery and a half. Holy. Does it charge in there or maybe it does? Yeah. Oh no, it plugs in there. Look at that. 56 volt battery, 12 amp hour. How many watt hours does it say? Doesn't say. I mean, I'm sure I could calculate that. Yeah, but quite a large battery. Let's get this on charge. All set up. I'm super keen just to get it going. This needs a little bit of the top taken off it. So we're gonna give that a go. Chuck the bag on. Seems to go on easily enough. Yeah, we're gonna have to drop it down. Single height adjuster, which is good. Look at that. Maybe we'll set it there to start with. And um, let's get this thing going. I'll start up here. So you can see it coming out, yeah? This is just bizarre. Wow. Okay, so super easy to control. This is, like the novelty factor alone of this is just wicked. Oh. It's got an auto turn function, which I'll test up here. It does like an auto U-turn. Let's try that. There you go, look at that. Turns itself around. Let's see if we can do it while we're cutting. So there we go, I'm gonna try the auto U-turn now. Should move it over to like the next row, which it has for the next pass and I'm, I'm a little blown away at how uh, easily we've got this thing going. Like I was hoping it would be this easy, but when they contacted me about this, I'm just like, yeah, no, that sounds, it just sounds like a toy, but let's see how much it's collected. <laughs> Again, there wasn't much to take off here, bear in mind. Oh, okay, so it's done a good job of collecting the leaves for sure. There we go, we didn't take too much of it. That's on the second highest height. We need to find some grass today. I just want to cut grass. This is the two wheel drive version. Apparently it comes in a four wheel drive as well. These did seem a little bit slippy just when it was uh, turning around, but time will tell. Has this massive battery in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. It has a lot of sensors um, for safety, which I have currently turned off. We will try it with the sensors turned on soon, but again, I just wanted to get this thing going. So there, there's your height adjustment, which it, the, the mower chassis is kind of independent well, it moves up and down independent of this. I guess it's like a safety frame or something. I don't, I don't know. Or, you know, just to protect the main body of the machine. Let's see if we go a little lower how it goes. Where needs to be mowed?
I don't know why I'm walking along with it. I don't need to. I do like that auto turn feature. Oh, well, there we go. There's its first test. Took a little bit more off there. This isn't the best lawn to test it on because there's not a lot of leaf on it to start with, but that looks tidy. Obviously the edges haven't been done, but that looks tidy. I'll give you a close up. Did a good job vacuuming up the leaves. I couldn't resist. Had to bring it out somewhere bigger. Just going around the corner from my house. Just really need to test this thing. Just super curious. Actually got it up a lot easier than I thought it would be. Let's see how we go getting it off. Oop. And it's got caster wheels at the front, so we're gonna get them going the right way. Oop. Definitely need to work on my dismount, but there we go. I'm just super keen to there's some longer grass over there. I'm gonna throw it in that. So we're just gonna use the rear discharge, see how that goes. I'll do it on the highest setting too, just to see how we go to start. At some point, the novelty of using this thing will probably wear off, but um, <laughs> right now it's just super fun.
traction's definitely not amazing with these wheels. There is a four-wheel drive version uh, coming out. I'm sure, that'll be a lot better. Who am I ringing? Oh. But in this, uh, in this stuff, it's quite easy to induce wheel spin. Carthy's just arrived to have a look. We'll uh, take it up here and, and try out the somewhat autonomous features of the auto turns um, just in, you know, rows. Get an idea of what I'm talking about then. I don't know what the range is. Oh, oh, let's... So it has an auto... Um, it's got an auto turn feature. Mm. So I'll let it go for a bit and then... So it lines up to the previous bus? In theory, but yeah, like, because it's got caster wheels, I'm not sure how you get it to go 100% straight, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, like, wait, look yeah. at it deviating. Yeah. You know, and, and because it's so responsive on the controls, are you then having to line up? So now I'll, I'll do a turn, I'll do a left hand turn. Did that do it itself? Or did the you... turn it did, yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. yeah line up really but if you've got to line it up yourself, I'm, I'm sure there's a way to drive it straight autonomously, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I haven't been through the settings yet, but it's just, it's just fun. Yeah, it looks like people. <laughs> it's mowing quite well, isn't it? Like, look at those two passes. Yeah. You're a hard man to impress. No, 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 wait, I've just blown away. chassis is the, like the mower chassis is independent of that whole external frame yeah, yeah, so if yeah. you go go and adjust the height on it and watch how it moves independently the height adjuster on the back rear have a look there oh not that one no i'm kidding okay. <laughs> see that uh, if you had to control it so just get the blades going just it's hold down both of them and then press the cutting but you've got to keep holding them okay Let's see, let's see if you can work out. I'm sure you'll be able to work it out. So I've just given it to Karthik. Very little instruction to see how he goes with it. He's having some fun. Pretty easy to work out, eh? So uh, Karthik just tried to run himself over. <laughs> it's quicker than you think, eh? Yeah. I was, I, I was, uh, do you want to keep it going up there so I can get some more of it? But that is, that's actually quite a big area that it's just mowed. In a little little bit of time too, eh? Doesn't take too long, does it? Yeah. Hold it down like the drone, the power button. Yeah. Karthik wanted to check out the blades, um, but he wanted to do it with it on. Rebel. Just tilt it back, maybe. I haven't even had a look at it yet. Did it come charged? Uh, uh, it was like three quarters. It's a 21 inch blade. Pretty simple, traditional looking, hey? It's got a wash port. Yeah. What do you think? Um, I still think it needs the like robotic mower features built into it as well and make it a lot more useful. Yeah. It can do its own thing yeah. as well. Uh, but even without that, it's still, I can see, I mean, only council workers love this. Imagine coming in for a shift and just sitting back with a chair under a tree. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's, it's one of the, I 
it's like super cool. Yeah. I'm just trying to think of the best use case for it. No, no, if you've got nice big yards and you don't like yeah. mowing. And you don't want to have a ride on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sit back and just yeah. do this for a few hours with a remote. Yeah. No, my kids would love it. Like we made that section there in a very short amount of time yeah. with just, you know, your fingers, which is kind of wild. He wants another go. Yeah, okay, yeah, I believe it's a, a Kickstarter at the moment. This is the first one in Australia. First one to land in Australia. I'm not sure of the pricing yet. It's just fun to use, isn't it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 